Welcome to module six, where your sole focus is really on the screencasting project. Let me say a little bit more about that. So because it's Thanksgiving week, the Gantt chart shows a single assignment deadline at the end of the week for your discussion post. Although there's nothing else due in module six, you'll need to be busy with the post-production phase of the screencasting project. You should watch your source material and then edit your screencast. The more you get done this week, the better. The end of the course is approaching and there are several other assignments coming in the next couple of weeks. Remember that last week is a short week. It ends on Friday instead of Sunday. Let me give you some tips for completing your specific assignments this week. As you near the end of the screencasting project, I want to make sure you understand how I'm going to evaluate it. First, your screencast must implement minimalist instruction for novice software users in a 90 to 150 second video delivered as an MP4 file. Those are all absolute requirements. Second, it should have an efficient and logical structure. Use the feedback you received on your script and storyboard assignment. Follow visual composition principles like organizing information with latch principles and using layout grids. If you haven't taken TECM 5280 on visual design yet, the assignment on Canvas has links to sources that briefly explain these. In short, pay attention to alignment and arrangement of the visual objects you show on the screen. Third, your final screencast should be clear. Use some visual markers that help users focus on tasks. And finally, it should include clear and relevant audio that complements the video. I'm going to list the steps that I already mentioned in my Module 5 lecture on video post-production. Start with either the audio or video track, make cuts to get it into near final shape, then sync the two tracks and finalize your edits of those recorded tracks. After that, you can add the required visual markers. If you have time, you can add additional images or music or intros, outros, whatever. The final task is to render the video into an MP4 file. Be aware that this takes some time. Don't forget, you have a discussion post due at the end of the week. I've allocated an hour for that as usual. You also will spend about an hour looking at the instructional materials, the video about video editing. All the rest of your time should be spent working on your screencast. Use the Slack channel uh, for assignments if you have questions. Otherwise, have a great week. And I also hope that you find many things to give thanks for.